find Oh, I love the flowers and trees And the smell of the grinding sea And all the beautiful things here in life I'm a pilgrim here on the side of the grave Divide I'm a pilgrim here but I'll walk with you for a A lot has happened since I last made a video and in today's video I want to honor and remember some of those people that we've lost. I know I'm not the only one that has become familiar with the feeling of losing people during this time and I know I'm not the only one that has felt like I've lost a little bit of myself too and that's not to say it's a bad thing. Mourning isn't just for when you lose a person it's for when you move out and say goodbye to a place that might have brought you extreme joy or extreme pain. It's for when you didn't pass the test or you hardly recognize someone you've known for years. Maybe it's when the person that you really love doesn't believe you or your sibling confesses something that makes you feel powerless. Loss could be when you go in for an ultrasound and instead of looking at a baby, you are counting exactly how many growths are on your ovaries that are completely changing your life. And maybe you feel a sense of loss when you finally ask for help. Mourning these people, places, and things that radically shift your life for what sometimes feels like the worst takes time. Different amounts for everyone. And you ask yourself, why? How? But most importantly, what now? Well, now you breathe, sometimes fast and sometimes slow. But to keep going, you need to know your why. Because if you don't know your why, when it gets harder, which it will, motivation will not be enough to keep you going. Motivation is a cheap fuel source. It's good enough to keep you running for a while, but like all emotions, they leave just as quickly as they come. And what you're left with is, why am I even doing this anymore? but I invite you to another perspective. Because on the flip side of every loss in this world is the fertile ground for new life, new possibilities. The next chapter in this great book with pages far beyond what we could ever understand. Because most times it takes dying to yourself to be born into a greater picture. Dying to the life that you didn't choose, where things happen to you that you couldn't control. To be born into one where you did, where you surrendered it all. Because although we can't choose what happens to us, we do choose how we respond and who we become every day by every single one of those responses. There's a quote that goes, the two most important days of your life is the day that you're born and the day that you find out why. And I promise you that why will not have an ending point. That why will be way bigger than you, way bigger than what you can accomplish on your own. And you're gonna need help from a lot of different places. And you're gonna fall and get back up. But that why, will fill you up and give you a peace when it doesn't make sense to have any. And that why has a name. We call him Father. Because what if 
You are right where you need to be right now. That the world doesn't need what you have, but who you are. And in giving of ourselves, that we receive the greatest gift, life. Why should you keep going? Because you're beloved. Beloved to love. And when you sit with that fact long enough, there you will find your why.